Ah, we are live. Good morning. Uh, news at 10 coming to you live on a Monday morning. Now, did you know the meaning of dojo? There are two words, uh, the do meaning uh, the way and our way as in the martial arts, uh, study, the competition, uh, competitive training with Fight Club and uh, just the way in which we do all of this, the fitness and everything else that uh, we do. Uh, the do is down to the, the thing itself. So our code, everything else, that, that is uh, the do. The Joe is uh, simply translated is a place. So our dojo is the place we do all the awesomeness at. So the Joe is uh, the actual uh, building itself and uh, the Tory gate and everything. Uh, hello, Tracy. Thumbs up. Hello, Michael. Good Monday morning to you. Uh, the Joe is a place, uh, the Tori on our, our logo is uh, a representation of the gate uh, of where it is. So, yeah, just thought I'd fill you in on that on a Monday morning, Dojo and what it means, our, our place of training, but uh, a deeper understanding of it. Right, we are week 30 and of our training calendar, and this week the theme is Seek the Uncomfortable. Uh, the more you seek the uncomfortable, the more you will become comfortable. So this week's lesson content will be line work and some self-defense. So we've just had all the grading results uh, pre ready and presented uh, from Saturday with the belt presentation. Wasn't able to be there uh, myself as I was uh, part of the GB coaching staff at Lillyshaw Sport of Excellence for the uh, Great Bit and Kickboxing squad. Uh, but I heard there was lots of smiley faces and uh, everyone had a great time uh, with the belt presentation. If you wasn't available for that, then all your belts will be uh, presented this week uh, during your usual classes. Uh, Michael, thumbs up. So, uh, we've just had great results. We've just had a string of competitions where there's been lots of success and we should celebrate that success. We should uh, be thumbs up and giving ourselves a tap on the back. However, never become comfortable with it. We want to always seek uh, further progress and developing. Uh, it is a journey after all. Now, we are into our summer campaign officially this Wednesday. I know a lot of the schools broke up on Friday. Uh, it took us twice as long to get up to Lily Shore, actually. It's normally a three-hour journey. It took over six hours, uh, but we had a better journey back. So, yeah, I know a lot of schools have broken up and uh, people going on holiday now and everything else. But our summer campaign officially starts on Wednesday, as they are still, our own girls are still at school these uh, couple of days, uh, Monday, Tuesday. So we have a uh, summer timetable as normal, with the exception of the mini karate kids. Uh, that's all the 4.30 classes, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll now start at the 5.30 time, but not tonight. Monday, uh, the 23rd is still a 4.30 class. So I'll send a message out to everyone relevant uh, so that they know about that. For the summer months, we have a summer reward card. So for those students, uh, uh, there's, we'll be passing out to rather all the students a uh, reward card. There'll be some fun exercises, some challenging exercises, and some things even you can do while you're away. Uh, some things related to being at the dojo, but others, uh, like for instance, getting a picture uh, in a karate pose at a famous landmark, uh, we love to see that shared uh, from around the world on everyone's uh, summer travels. Uh, so all of this summer campaign, as I said, starts on Wednesday. We have started giving out all of the syllabus books. We have new fancy uh, syllabus books with all that students need for studying uh, martial arts. We've been giving those out this week, along with a uh, updated T's and C's, terms and conditions for our dojo membership and uniform code. I'll follow up on those a little bit more uh, for next week, as not all students have received these yet, so we'll be passing them out. Uh, the 
uh, dojo timetable uh, on both the website actually and leaflets currently at the dojo doesn't have the uh, 9 a.m. family Saturday class on. I know a few people have switched their membership to be able to come on these days as it is a uh, nice start to the week and then obviously you've got the full week ahead of you as well. So do be aware 9 a.m. class is on and runs as normal. It's officially our dojo's fourth birthday this Friday, 27th. So happy birthday, dojo! and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun this week to obviously a little bit a lot of fun this week to celebrate that next monday uh, which is the 30th will be the start of our kids summer kids camp week uh, we'll run the kids camp from monday to friday uh, next week so uh getting kids booked in if they're not already i know there were spaces when i last looked available and then the next event on the calendar will be in august which is uh, saturday the 4th and that's our advanced training that we have on the afternoon. So I'll remind the advanced people next week for that. And then a little bit quieter on events throughout August. Obviously, everyone away on holidays and uh, busynesses and everything of the summer. So the following event will be another advanced squad training, first Saturday of every month on uh, the 1st of uh, September. But then the 2nd of September, we have our next squad training. And uh, this is all specific for the Fight Club students or anyone interested in the competitions. We had a uh, huge attendance at the Grand Slam, which was absolutely awesome. We've got some interclubs coming up before the end of the year. It'd be nice to uh, get the ball rolling again in September for everyone for that. And uh, that's this week's Dojo News. So if you are away on holiday, uh, we wish you safe journeys and have a lovely time. Uh, we're being blessed with some sunshine and some people said it's going to be getting even hotter this week. So bring that on. Looking forward to it. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one. Boom.